What up, peeps? What is up, guys? It's Tuesday. I am dropping all the Christmas slash family crap, focusing on what's important, and that's finding Blu-rays. Gonna hit up Best Buy and Target. The Magnificent Seven came out, so I'm gonna see what they have. Definitely liked that movie, thought it was a decent remake. Um, Chris Pratt was awesome in it. Denzel Washington, great role, so. Best Buy! <laughs> Alright, so it looks like Sully came out. I don't see Magnificent Seven. That was alright. Steelbook is $30 with a 4K. I'm not gonna buy it, I'm passing it. Still have the Steelbooks for Force Awakens. They were down to $9.99 last week. Alright, got a few things at Best Buy. I'm gonna hit up Target, see what they have. Take it all. Four dollar Blu-rays, it's a good deal. Got some movies at Target. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. Before I get started on the Blu-rays that I got, I just want to talk about my Rogue One experience. I went there Thursday, the day before the official opening, and uh, it was a packed house. Not as packed as The Force Awakens last year. Um, I got a few things for the merch. The one thing that I really like is this a limited ticket of 2800 right there. It was only like, it was 20 bucks. It was a lot, but, um, and then I got a shirt similar to the Force Awakens um, Galaxy Premiere shirt from the year before. Um, and it was a great experience. You know, the crowd was, was into it and uh, it was fun. And as far as the movie goes, it goes, it's up there beyond the prequels. It was just okay. It wasn't great. And uh, I thought the characters were good. I really liked the droid K280, I think it was called. Um, and there's some other characters that I liked. There's some really good scenes in it. Um, but it just didn't come together like the other films, like the original trilogy or The Force Awakens, in my opinion. Um, let me know what you guys thought of Rogue One down below. It would be great to hear from you guys. First up, New Hope, Star Wars. I got this for my birthday. I, of course, have the Blu-ray of it. Um, I have all the... Star Wars movies on Blu-ray, but this was a steelbook with Darth Vader on it, so I figured I'll keep it. Pretty cool on the front, Darth Vader. Oh, sweet, on the back. That's pretty awesome. Vader in the back there, like the original movie poster from 77. It's going to be 40 years since this movie came out, so. And there is some inside artwork there. No digital code. Thanks, Disney. And there is Tatooine with Luke Skywalker and the two uh, two sons. That's pretty sweet right there. And I will see if there's any extras or anything that aren't on the Blu-ray of the uh, box set that I have behind me. So, Great movie, of course, classic. I went to Best Buy, picked up the Magnificent Seven on Blu-ray and Digital HD. It's not even a Blu-ray DVD combo anymore for $19.99. I like the Steelbook, but it's $30, and I'm just, I'm not going to pay $30 bucks for uh a <laughs> movie, so yeah, gonna stick with the original. Nice lift cover, so it's pretty cool. And I thought this was a decent movie, I liked it. It was a lot of action in it, good characters, so of course, not as good as the original, but uh, definitely strong. And if you'd like to see this on digital HD, go to filmreward.com slash magnificent7. There's the code. Best Buy for $5.99 in the bin. Weird Science. John Hughes 1980s movie. I think I have all of his, you know, great 1980s movies, iconic classic movies. Breakfast Club, Pretty in Pink, now Weird Science. So, um, very memorable film. Funny. The Big Brother, played by John, the guy from Twister, I can't remember his name. Someone put his name there on the comment section. Just regular Blu ray. There is a digital HD. UniversalDigitalCopy.com and there's the code. Finally, um, at Target for four dollars, Charlie Wilson's War. Been meaning to get this movie. Saw it once. Thought it was pretty decent. Has Philip Seymour Hoffman in it, Julie Roberts, and Tom Hanks. About the war in Afghanistan and the United States attempt to basically take down the Soviet Union in the 1980s. 
basic Blu-ray right there. Definitely gonna check. Give this a second watch. I've seen it once. Thought it was pretty decent. So. Next up are movies that I got in the mail for Black Friday, and uh, I think this was at Best Buy. The Lorax got this for five bucks. Blu-ray DVD combo. And I've seen this once. I thought it was okay. It wasn't the best. Whoa. There goes the Blu-ray. All right, there is a digital HD. Go to universaldigitalcopy.com slash the Lorax. Put in that code. Also on Black Friday, like the last hour of Black Friday, I usually, you know, run to Target, Walmart, see if there's anything that I missed. So um, at Walmart for 10 bucks with a nice slip cover, this was the last copy of the Jungle Book. There's the front and the back. And digital copy is, of course, one of these from Disney. The Jungle Book, go to redeemdigitalmovie.com, put in that code. Also, for $8.99, I got Free State of Jones. Walmart. Um, there's a digital HD, but it is rated R, so just be the first person in the comment section to say you were 17 or over and you would like a free copy of Free State of Jones, all right? And I've heard mixed reviews about this one. Blu-ray DVD, pretty sweet. Matthew McConaughey, great actor. Up next, Walmart, it was like eight bucks, I think. Black Mass, also rated R if you'd like the digital copy. Again, be the first person to say you're 17 or over below. I cannot get this out of the slipcover. And you'll get a free digital copy if I could open this. God, really? Like this has never happened. Oh, it's a sticker. Black Mass, it was a bitch to get open. There's a Blu-ray DVD, basically the same. Good performance by Johnny Depp. He uh, did really good in this, and I'm going to have to watch it again. I thought it was okay. Next, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Got this at Best Buy. It was like 8 bucks, maybe. Less than that, 6 bucks. I don't know. It was Black Friday price. So, And uh, this is the Jim Carrey, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And I saw this in the theaters a long time ago. I thought it was pretty good. A lot of people didn't like it, I guess. The uh, fans of... The original didn't like the uh, remake, so. All right, there is a digital copy. Pretty sweet Blu-ray right there. All right, for How the Grinch Stole Christmas, go to universaldigitalcopy.com. Put in that code. And another Jim Carrey movie. Love this movie, Liar Liar. One of his best, funniest movies, I think. Got this for five bucks at Best Buy online. Alright, for digital code, go to universaldigitalcopy.com slash liar liar. Alright, last up, 112263 for 999. It's a DVD. Love the book by Stephen King, thought it was excellent. Read it a while back. And this is JJ Abrams, so I've heard good things about this. I'm gonna uh, definitely watch as much as I can during the holiday break. I heard there's really good scenes in it, well-made scenes, and uh, yeah, so I'm definitely going to, one of these nights, watch a bunch of these episodes, maybe the whole thing, do a little binge of 11-22-63. Still have to see Stranger Things Season 1, so. Alright guys, that is it for this one. I will see you on the next video. Go see Rogue One.